Hello, this is Sophia Lightjill. I am an Empower Lab coach and a Light Codes healer. And today I wanted to do a video about the last few week, uh, weeks, well, days really. There's been this amazing um, coming in of energy and activation during the weekend. I um, the moon is just really that process of the new moon and, and moving towards the fullness of the moon where we'll be having a total lunar eclipse. So there's going to be a moment on the on May 26 and 27, wherever you are in the world, that um, in the evening on the moon, we're going to be able to see the shadow of the earth on the moon. So that's going to bring, and it's already bringing this kind of sense of thinning of the veil, thinning of our uh, of the saddle realm. So <clears throat> during this time, you might feel like there's this sensation where the saddle's energy are way more capable. Um, pay attention to your dreams because you might receive a lot of downloads and information through your dreams in your dream time. And also throughout the day, you might get intuitive uh, information. You might uh, get like a sense that your intuitive gifts and powers are kind of heightened at this time, um, in which uh, you might feel more in tune with yourself, more connected with a larger aspect of who you are, with your divine nature and your divine essence. You might feel more connected to your heart and also you might feel more sensitive in general emotionally because you're going to be feeling more in tune with the energetic process of the collective. And so in this, during this weekend, I received a lot of information that I wanted to share with all of you. And um, it seems like there's this process of polarization right now in in our humanity and um what was coming is that it's a natural process like i remember years ago when i decided um to study holistic nutrition um there was a moment that where you know if my lifestyle and the way i was eating was here i went all the opposite way of the pendulum everything that i was studying i would incorporate and i was in that moment of like okay i let go of everything that is there uh, the old me and i become this new me and then in the process through time when that was that extreme was fully integrated, then I came back into the middle and I I didn't go back to either one stream or the other. It kind of like, um, I took the things that resonated with me. Uh, once the process of healing as well um, was over, then there was a kind of natural uh, rebalancing and finding a new order on itself with my life and my diet. Um, and so I give you this example because that's what collectively we're going through. I came to um, the re realization um, that the earth is going to continue to live. In fact, you know, earth was born billions of years uh, before us. If, you know, if the whole birth of Earth was one day, the human, um, humans as humans were born like one minute, something like one minute before uh, midnight hit the clock. So we're the newest, the newest race and animal upon the planet. And so the earth will continue to be. And so the realization, even the trees and the planets, they are way older than us. They are our ancestors. And this is a part of, rem of the remembering we are going through as um, in a collective, as a human being, that we are part of the living body of the earth. And so um, the understanding came that it, right now, it's very important 
uh, to understand that as a collective, we are healing the human heart. And um, that's why this time is just really feel of um, this kind of emotional um, expression and purging and healing and um, rebalancing in a way. And we are dropping from the head, from our rational way of being, from our logical way of being, from wanting to understand everything and label everything and have evidence of everything into more the felt sense, returning home into the body and following a life that it's in alignment with our feelings and our true nature and our heart, with our passions, what we value, what we love. And in that whole process, there's a process of returning to home, to ourselves, returning to peace and harmony, and to returning to the true belonging that we are part of the earth, we're part of uh, this whole body of life. And uh, there's a beautiful prayer that came through. And um, the piece here too is that in that polarization is a natural process because there's going to be a moment where we'll come back to center. Right now it's feeling very much like, you know, the polarized, um, the extremes. And um, just know that it, it will come uh, to center and a new order is going to be created. And if you think about it, the Big Bang was created and through an explosion where, you know, you can perceive that explosion as pure chaos. But in fact, it was through time and space and the creation of matter, there was a new order that was created in life. This is what's happening right here uh, as well. And um, so really focusing on your self-care, uh, really focusing on how your heart is feeling and how your body is feeling. And uh, the last piece that I wanted to share is that um, there's going to be this realization and deeper integration of you being a cosmic being, a universal being, a divine being. Like there's been so many years that we have um, separated ourselves from God, a God outside ourselves, a divine entity outside ourselves, uh, from angels, from whatever, you know, whatever religion you believe in, something outside ourselves. And um, during this weekend, it was very clear to begin to connect in a deeper way with the divine within me. Just go to your heart and connect with the divine within yourself and the God within yourself and realizing that everything that you look, when you look at the tree, when you look at the, you know, at your animal pet, when you look at the sky and you see birds flying, everything is that expression of the divine. And it's the same way your body is an expression of the divine. And also the observer within you, it's also an expression of the divine. And it's that deeper integration that there is, it's one way to think it and understand it through your head. But when you actually receive the understanding in a body sensation, you fully integrate it in your body and through your heart. There's a new level of understanding and you begin to move in a new different way in life. So today I wanted to do a light language transmission about um, returning to the heart and just allowing that connection and healing of the human heart and the collective of the human heart. Um, we're beginning to find common ground with each other to understand that um, that place of uh, right or wrong or good or bad um, it's not the way anymore. There's a, a different way of creation and co-creating in life. And there's a, a different way of being with oneself, with each other and the planet in life. And so let's dive right in into the light language transmission. And this light language transmission is returning to the heart light language transmission to heal or bring further healing and realignment to the human heart and bring healing to the human heart. And a question that is gonna support you throughout this month 
uh, is what is this action or is this going to bring a deeper sense of love and peace within myself and in my life? So every time you have something comes up in your life, just connect and ask yourself, if I make this uh, choice, if I take this action, it's going to bring me peace. Will I feel at peace with myself and my life? And then that will uh, be your beautiful compass in the connection of the heart and your true north as well. So let's uh, dive right in. Um, place both feet on the earth, connecting to your heart. Let's take a deep breath in into the heart. No, I at a yellow, you know, I at a here, not a yellow, you're not a here, nay. Or yet a yellow, they at a yellow, I at a Uruaya tana sahia, Uriya tana tai sahia, Uniya taya ta sahia, Uniya taya ta sahia, No hota hia lei. Taha hiya lei, taha hiya lei. Oh, 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 breath in into the heart and just allowing the energy to be fully integrated and received bringing both hands into your heart and feeling your heartbeat receiving yourself fully and completely beautiful and have a beautiful day bye bye